I feel like it is time to do something new. Like, the old season is past. The old things are old. It's like, I don't want to do them anymore. It's time to do something new. So, out with the old, in with the new. It's going to look different. It's going to probably feel different. I mean, kind of like going shopping. And you end up with like a whole bunch of clothes. Sometimes it fits. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you got to start over. Sometimes you pick something. And, and then it wasn't as good as you thought it was going to be. But nevertheless, you can't decide that you're just going to walk out into the world naked. You've got to start over. You can't just give up. you got to get up and got to keep moving forward. you got to put some clothes on. So what if the other stuff didn't look good? So what if that outfit didn't work out? It's okay. Just get rid of it. Donate it. Put it on forward. Maybe it was made for somebody else. Maybe it's not your style. Okay, well, God has given us the ability to adapt and move forward. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to adapt and move forward. And then going to look the same. Maybe this year's code is going to be, I don't know. It will not be a dog, but it's going to be something different. Maybe it won't be black and leather and maybe, maybe our name won't matter. <laughs> maybe all these other little things that, you know, we think matter so much. They just really don't matter that much. What matters is salvation, Jesus Christ, getting people to Jesus Christ, not losing ourselves to the enemy, persevering, persevering under fire, becoming fireproof, walking with Jesus, keeping our eyes focused on him, doing something new, becoming like a butterfly. Maybe, maybe we're in a season where we've gone into the cocoon. And it's kind of ugly inside the cocoon. The walls are kind of ugly. The environment's kind of ugly. It's cold. It's dark. It's alone. But inside the cocoon, there's a miracle happening. Something is happening in the cocoon. It's something that can't be understood by people. It's kind of like a baby in the womb being clothed by God, being created by God to come out. To be something significant and beautiful in the image of God. Something that it couldn't have been before. Something that it's going to take God for it to become. Because we couldn't do it ourselves. We couldn't make it become this. It has to become this along the way. It's got to grow and adapt and develop and get its wings. It's got to become something new because it can't go back to being a caterpillar. It can't go back to being, I'm going to say it, a sperm. I've seen this post. It was like, this is me from a picture. A very, very old picture. It was a little sperm. You can't go back to being a sperm. You can't go back to being a little egg. No, something has happened. Creation. God's design. They came together. They created a human. You can't go back. You've got to go forward. Now you've got to embrace the change. That's where we're at. Moving forward into a season. The main thing is hold on to God. Hold on to Jesus. Stay focused. Stay positive. Even whenever it looks like maybe it's going to look like something that you didn't expect for it to look like. Kind of like you thought that your baby was going to come out white and then it was black. Or you thought that your butterfly was going to have big beautiful wings and then they were stubby. Or maybe you thought that this beautiful thing was this beautiful thing. But really it was just the way God created it to be. Beautifully broken. I love you guys.